things, just making ordered pairs out of them. But uh, for now, the book just hands us the information that Fahrenheit is nine fifths of the temperature in degrees Celsius plus 32. That number should sound familiar. Fahrenheit scale. So they may sometimes just ask us to apply it. So find the temp in degrees Fahrenheit. Or a temp of, uh, we'll start with 30 degrees Celsius. So if they give us a formula and give us a number, really all we're doing is substitution and either just simplifying or solving and some simplifying. So Fahrenheit, they didn't give that to us. That stays a variable. Nine fifths is part of the formula. That's just always going to be there. Celsius though, they give us a number, replace it with parentheses and we'll plug in that 30 they handed us. If it helps, you think of it as 30 over 1, and we have our plus 32. Keep the whole problem together. Okay, so arithmetic time. So 30 fifths is 6, so 9 by 6 is 54. So F is 54 plus 32. So F is equal to 86. And then we just throw that into a sentence. So the temp is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. they may give us a temperature in Fahrenheit and ask us to turn it into Celsius. And there's a couple different ways to deal with that. So we'll find the temp in degrees Celsius for a temp of 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So this time we do know the F, so that is 113. Usually I would put it in parentheses, but notice in the formula it was already by itself. It had its own side of the equation. Uh, 9 fifths is still there. This time we don't know what C is. C stays as a variable and we have our plus 32. So if I'm solving this thing, just like if this were a linear equation, this were an X camped here, and go ahead and subtract 32 on both sides. That's exactly what we'll do this time. So left hand side, just a little bit of arithmetic there. So 81 is 9 fifths times C plus 0. So 81 is 9 fifths times C. All right, so next we use the multiplication property of equality, so I'll multiply both sides by the multiplicative inverse of 9 fifths, which is 5 ninths. So 5 fifths is 1, 9 ninths is 1. So right hand side we have 1c, uh, left hand side 81 ninths is 9, 5 by 9, 45, 45 over 1. So 1 times c is c, so c is 45. So the temperature is 45 degrees, this time in Celsius. So if you're traveling and they tell you that uh, it's going to be 45 degrees Celsius, if you're in any of the other countries, which is uh, most of them, there's maybe three countries left that are using Fahrenheit. If you turn on the weather and they say it's going to be 45 degrees that day, might want to watch out. It's going to be quite, quite hot. Um, another option, if you're doing several of those, is you may want to be able to just plug in instead of solving every time. You may want to just be able to substitute like we did on this first one here of plug it in and do the arithmetic. All we have to do then is to solve for the variable C. So we have F is 9 fifths times C plus 32. 
Our goal is to get C by itself. So we can clear the fraction. We'll multiply both sides by 5. So left-hand side, 5 times F. Right-hand side, 5 plus is 1. 1 times 9C is 9C. So 5F is 9C plus 160. hanging on there. All right, our goal is to get C by itself, so we'll subtract 160 on both sides next. So 5F minus 160 is worth 9 times C plus 0, and we'll get rid of that plus 0. So we'll finish it off. We'll divide both sides through by 9. Yeah, there was the end of that rig. Okay, that's all right. We'll get this back in focus, and then we'll try to just hold it in place till I'm done with the section. Okay, so then 1 times C is 5F minus 160 all over 9, so C is 5F minus 160 all over 9. So you can try out that same problem we did before, uh, just plugging the 113 in here and see which method you like better. All right, so then the last kind of problem that we have, uh, we are uh, looking at any kind of traveling problem, distance, rate, and time problems. Uh, if you're say walk at five miles an hour for two hours, you've gone 10 miles. Well, that relationship then was distance was the rate how fast you were going times the amount of time you were going that fast. So if you're going, let's say 50 feet and we were traveling at a rate of five feet per second. How long did the trip take? So we just plug in what we know. 50 feet. Feet is a distance, so that's going to go where D went. Typically we would have parentheses, but again D had its own side of the equal sign, so we don't necessarily need them there. Feet per second, anything with the per in it is a rate, a speed. So that's going where the R went, and time is the thing we didn't know, and they asked how long. So this one, simply divide both sides by 5, so 1 times T is worth 10. T is equal to 10. And the units on the time are related to the units on your speed. So our speed was in per second. So this is measuring number of seconds, so the trip took 10 seconds. All right, so that should be enough for you to uh, finish your 2.9 problems from the book. Uh, keep checking your email, keep checking Moodle, and of course keep checking the school's website. So do the 2.9 problems. And again, just check your email. Uh, if you have questions uh, that you want to ask me, of course, feel free to ask. Uh, stay safe. Uh, hope you and your family are well, and hopefully we get together soon. Thank you.